Hey, I'm Tom. And I'm Tanner. Welcome back to episode 27 of Bird Squawk, episode 1, season 2. <laughs> we are back, um, at least for now. We want to hit some stuff that happened uh, a while to break, more recently this week with free agency starting. Lots of stuff that people are excited about, lots of things that people are disappointed about. Um, right off the bat, Darius Slay, big bring in for... Big, big play Slay, baby, gotta like it. Uh, yeah, it was huge. I, I'm a big fan of the trade, a third a third and a fifth round pick, easy money. Um, 50 mil, I don't know if he's the highest, should be the highest paid corner, but like I've been hearing on the radio and just thinking it's the best corner we've had here since, I don't know, Asante maybe. Hey, we got, we got a corner with some swag now. Hopefully he can live up to it. Um, you know, that's what we've been missing on that back end. Um, but with that, you know, to get a piece, you got to give up a piece and, and Eagles nation. I mean, we're all, uh, feeling a little sad that, uh, we lost Malcolm. Yeah. I know both of us personally were a little disappointed. We were saying earlier in videos past that we were big supporters of actually giving Malcolm a contract. And unfortunately it just didn't work out. It seems like everything went nicely. There's no, no one's leaving with, uh, anger or anything it is what it is um so that's i mean you can't deny what the guy did the last two years he was he played every defensive snap uh, he yeah, struggled I mean, the, the, the dude was a leader yeah he, he was a big influence in that locker room for sure um a warrior i mean the dude played special teams kickoffs you know he played at every snap and uh you know to to little hurtful to let him go but uh you know that's that's business it's business yeah. the only thing i can say is every bird fan that shows up down there when uh we play new orleans um stand up give that man a round of applause yeah that'll be a good moment next year and uh i'm gonna continue to show up and uh wear his jersey once in a while while i'm down there yeah he, he's uh dawkins-esque obviously you can't put your um, someone compared to Dawkins, but he, he was he was up there. He's he's one of the greatest free agent signings ever if, uh, in Eagles history. So. I think a little bit of what hurt him is probably what happened, you know, with the past few years, just signing some of those older guys and and seeing them break down. Um, you yeah, know, that that I'm sure played into the thinking, you know, of us getting younger and you know sometimes there's collateral damage to do that and i think malcolm just fell into that uh yeah we'll get to like kind of what the plan is going on if they're very they're sending us a lot of mixed signals on kind of what their objective is for this upcoming season but before we talk about uh the other new guys coming in so far uh jalen mills and rodney mcleod our new i guess you could say safety duo both resigned um their plans on moving to jalen to safety We'll see how that goes. Um, he played good for Jalen in his time back after the injury at the end of last season. Uh, we'll see what safety does. Rodney, I was happy they brought him back, but we'll have to see what happens. The defense still... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how I feel uh, with the whole secondary. I mean, Jalen always brought the swagger, but obviously sometimes didn't live up to it. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully, I mean, with him and Slay bringing some swagger back there, I mean, this Will Harris. Uh, no, uh, Will Parks. Will Parks, I... I'm sorry. Parks and Rec. Um, you know, he's bringing some attitude as well. Philly kid. Uh, should be a feel-good story. I hope it lives up to it. Yeah, um, I don't, yeah. Hopefully, you know, I mean, this Yannick, and Gawkway. And Gawkway yeah. thing. I mean, the uh, dude is like sending out. No, he, yeah, it's very obvious. I think really he weird. wants to he become wants to an be eagle. A bird, but, but I don't know. I think a first round pick or a high second is probably involved in that trade. And we'll have to see what Howie wants to do. Um, you know, my thinking is, you know, hey, get that D line back mm -hmm. and, and we can cover up some of that secondary, you know? Yeah. I mean, get a good, strong rotation on that D-line, and, and, you know, some things will take care of themselves in that secondary. Yeah, that was a huge thing in 2017, that D-line. Obviously, the last couple of years, it's been a little suspect at times. They Obviously, that's always been a big focal point for the Eagles. Um, like you said, Will Parks, I don't really know much about the guy. Uh, we kind of have to see. Um, 
Jatavius Brown. Uh, great. I love that they're always putting linebacker in um, the needs. Um, yeah, the dude will he's a, he's get a, in on special teams. Yeah, man. he's a Camus yeah. guy. He's a, <laughs> like, that's what he is. He's going to be Camus 2.0. Uh, I just it, it pains me that they don't take linebacker serious that they're they've never really put that in the top echelon of what they need um yeah I mean and, and with that you know we, we got to have a moment of silence for uh Aguilar uh, uh, hallelujah you know the Raiders picked him up uh there's some stuff out there that Gruden made a, may have been day drinking when he uh made that move but hey you know for what it, for what we gotta say, I mean, the dude showed up in that Super Bowl year. Yeah, you know, just yes. every other year after that. I don't know. I, I would assume he's gonna go to the Raiders and have a great season. You know, it's just know. the it's way it goes. Ongoing. Probably. I mean, but, I think uh, everyone's happy. That I, I think. On. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the, the dude never lived up to expectations. Yeah, unfortunately, and um, obviously, other than Slay, the big signing, three year. 39 million Devon Hargrave to sure up that D-line again. Yeah, I don't know about that, but I mean, uh, when are we going to go get my man some weapons? Come on, Carson needs some weapons. We're gonna, yeah. We've got, we got how much under the cap now? we got like 24 know. million still? Well, the thing is, um, I mean, what are we doing? There's we a lot gotta, of things that come with this signing. We're going to drop in the draft. We're going to go get a receiver. What, what are we doing? There's a lot of questions about the signing because he's a good player. Don't get me wrong. Um excited to bring him in but i think it's a little overpaid and it brings up questions what's up with malik jackson does he is he just gonna is I, he good I, or I is there a setback a or, the rotation, i just feel like man. it was a lot I, for another rotation yeah, but piece I, but i think they just want to they just want to have that rotation malik can move outside if we have to um brandon graham i think yeah, there's just gonna be a lot of a lot of rotation on that line. Keep Derek those Grant, guys yeah. fresh. Yeah, we'll we'll have this. And if they get an that would it would it would be big. An Ngwakwe would be huge. But I still don't know if that's going to happen or not. But like you said, it's really interesting how they're going about this because when they let Malcolm go, it kind of gave me like, okay, we're getting young. We're kind of like in rebuild mode. There wasn't a lot going on. They seemed like they were going to keep their picks for the draft, try and get really young because we were the oldest roster in football last year. So you were like, uh, I don't know if this year is going to be the year that they're really going to make a push. Is our window kind of closed? But then they go out and get Darius Slay. That's a big like, that's, yeah, that's a man, not. That was a jolt. That was like somebody getting the paddles. Yeah. <laughs> like that's shocking us back because we were all thinking how he was like uh, MIA somewhere. Yeah. You know? So it, like he put his face on a milk carton. Somebody find him. Like it's exciting to get him, but it gives you yeah. mixed signals because you kind of get that like we're rebuilding, but then you go out and get a shutdown corner and it's kind of like, oh, okay. So now we're going to try and do something this year. I mean, I think. I just feel like it isn't, it isn't a rebuild, it's a reload. Oh, that's what you I was know, like. That's what I was like. But earlier they in the got week, a plan. They they're not letting us in on their plan, but they got a plan. Early in the week, I was like, this team should not be rebuilding. There's no way this team should be rebuilding. And I mean, obviously, I think they're gonna try and tackle the offensive needs in the draft. I don't think they really want to go out and get anyone. You might get another veteran like Tory Smith type or um, someone else like that. Because I don't know what they're doing with Alshon, but he's not going to be in with the team yeah, next year. Not, so right now, it's literally like Deshaun is who kind of like your main, like Greg Ward's probably back. Yes. Um, but other than that, I mean, me personally, you need to take a wide receiver. I, I think their plan is to take a wide receiver in the first round. But they need to. Like, they need to hit on either. And they need somebody to hit, man. It can't be like uh, J.J. or Sega White. We no. need somebody who's going to come Aguilar in. Or again, yeah. We need somebody that's going to come in and, and be an impact player. No, yeah, I totally agree. Because we, uh, me, me personally, I'm looking at uh, Henry Ruggs, T. Higgins from somebody, Clemson. Man. Someone just, like that. You don't need to somebody. go up and get Calvin Ridley because he's not going to be there. But, I mean, I'm not – I don't have a problem moving up a little. We need to ensure something um, because that line is kind of – we have to see. There's a lot that is still up to the, discuss, debate what they're going to do. Um, what We're about a month away from the draft. Obviously, probably more small signings like the Parks and the Brown uh, signings are going to happen. 
Yeah. But there's still a lot to happen. And I just, because we had 10 picks, we gave two to the Lions for Slay. We still have eight. I want them to keep them. Last year, we had 10 picks. We ended up with five. Like, I really want to draft this year and get, like, I know we're pretty good first, second, third. Eh, we need to get those late round hits, late round guys that can come in and play. Those big stud guys. Not big stud guys, but just guys that are capable of holding yeah, positions. We, we just got we got to hit on these picks. I yeah, mean, we don't we don't have time. We're waiting around, and and every year we're waiting is closing that window on Carson. Mm -hmm. You know, let's not let's not wait around here, man. The dude's ready to roll. Go get him some weapons. Let's, no, I agree. Let's do something. I know that's kind of been like the objective the last couple of years, but those weapons haven't panned out. They even got hurt or something just hasn't worked out. So we kind of need a revamped, um, not a revamped offense, but kind of add some new pieces to that offense. Uh, energize some youth. We had Miles Sanders, huge hit last year. Um, still have Goddard, Ertz. Greg Ward should have another decent season this year. Get Deshaun healthy. Get another couple young wide receivers in there, and we're looking pretty. I think you get yeah. that. If we, uh, I still have Boston Scott and all that. So, I mean, that's all we have to talk about today. Um, it's nice to be back. We are gonna try and keep consistent. We're gonna probably be a little scattered here um, early on, but once the draft, once camp hopefully starts on time. I know it's already pushed back the OTAs and stuff with all this crazy crap going on in the world, um, but hopefully. Football doesn't get impacted that much. I know we're without sports right now, and yeah, but it, I, it is I what it is. I want to say to everybody in this trying times, man, stay safe, um, stay healthy. This too shall pass, and uh, we'll be back. Yeah, thank you guys always for watching. We're back, season two. Um, thanks for the support in season one. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Fly, Eagles, fly. <laughs>